Well, a very good Saturday morning, West Ham fans. Let's talk about some rumours, shall we? Why not? Well, a very happy Saturday morning to you. But more importantly, it's a long weekend for us in the UK. Anyway, it's uh, and also a day close to my holidays. Did I mention that? I'm going to be on holiday soon. Cannot wait. Obviously, we play Chelsea tomorrow. We'll have the starting 11 to show the watch alongs. We had Dave Moyes press conference for what it was worth yesterday. Um, and obviously, we've been talking about a lot of managers. A lot of head coaches coming to West Ham. Um, but we know there's a massive rebuild job. And, you know, we are being linked. We are talking to scouting players. And people go, well, what's the point? Why are you scouting players? You don't know who the manager's going to be. The recruitment is being headed up by Tim Steinem. So Tim, you know, that's it. So he, he's he's going to be the, the definite continuation from the current regime to the next regime, hopefully. Um <coughs> unless he leaves but um, anyway so that's why we're still being linked to players that's why we can't wait we need to crack on we need to get these things going as soon as humanly possible um and uh, we're putting a lot of a lot of uh, feelers out and doing a lot of recruitment a lot of scouting so i thought i'd bring you a few more players we've been sort of linked with um because you know that Again, they go along with what we're trying to achieve, I think, in terms of the squad rebuild that's going into the summer. So let's start with the first one, shall we? Let's start. Let's go. Let's stick with Portugal. We like Portugal. We're linked to a few managers from Portugal or Portuguese managers, um, but also in terms of the players as well. And one player we have been linked with recently is uh, Pedro Congalves from uh, Sporting Lisbon. However, we've also been linked with another um, attacking player. Somebody's been likened to uh, Jack Grealish, the Portuguese Jack Grealish. And that's Jota Silva uh, for Vitória de Gremas. Um, we apparently have set our sights on the forward, um, although we face um, a bit of a battle with Benfica, apparently, and Brighton, possibly, as well. Um, so, you know, and Fulham. as well. <laughs> So apparently they're in to, uh, Vitória are looking to maybe cash in on Silva in the summer. Around 20 million euros, 17 million quid is the number. Um, he was, uh, he's basically been in Port- playing in Portugal all his life. He's played across a number of different clubs in Portugal, including Vitora, uh, Casapia, uh, amongst others. This year he's had a great season. Could be seen maybe as the breakout season for him. Uh, 15 goals and seven assists under his belt. And uh, he's, very much looking to develop his game, go into the next stage, whether that's staying in the country, Benfica, or maybe going to the Premier League. He's likened his game and likened his style to uh, Diego Jota, who, who is a fantastic player. And um, for 17 million quid, seems an absolute bloody bargain, to be honest. Um, and for someone who's relatively still, still, you know, thinking 20 million, he's the type of you know, buyer you could easily go out and you know, in 18 months, two years, three years' time for sale if he had a good season, a couple of seasons in the Premier League for 50 million plus, isn't it? It's these types of deals which I'm excited about. Good, really good players, sound players, a really good price, which then, if they become really good, then, you know, we build teams around or we always sell them on for a profit to then reinvest that money. You know, people talk about the Brighton model. Um, you know, that's what they do. They, they buy players in at a reasonable, identify players, bring them at a reasonable value and sell them for an inflated value and make a profit. And, um, Jota Silva could be someone who's very interesting indeed. So we keep an eye out <clears throat> on him. Elsewhere, we're staying within the Premier League, kind of, um, with us and Aston Villa, apparently, according to the Telegraph, um, both interested in signing the Sheffield United player, Oliver Arbast- Arblaster. Arblaster, Arblaster, I will. Um, that's a bit too early for that, Russ. Um, the Sheffield United number 24 is indeed, indeed a very um, unique end to the season, despite the Blades 
pretty much guaranteed to be going down. He spent the first half of the season um, on loan at Port Vale and really impressed uh, his time at Port Vale and has since worked his way into the starting 11 under Chris Wilder and even wore the captain's armband for the last couple of games, um, which is fantastic um, in terms of his development. The Telegraph believe us and Villa are keeping a close eye on the England under 20-year-old international and a summer move could be on the cards, particularly if they go down, which they're likely to. Um, and... I mean, he's was he 19 years old. He's been described by Chris Wilder as the best midfielder on the pitch when Sheffield United lost 4-2 to Man United at Old Trafford. Um, he's, yeah, real sort of 82% pass completion rate so far this season um, and uh, could be one for the future. Um, homegrown as well. So, you know. I think you it, it would probably cost you. I wouldn't be surprised if it cost you the same money as someone like Jota Silva, to be honest, considering you get the homegrown tax really added on to it. But it's good to see, you know, we're looking at everywhere and obviously comes in Premier League experience as well and captain experience for a young lad as well. You know, 19 and uh, when the captain's armband, very reminiscent of a certain number 41. <laughs> Sorry, wrong one, that one. <laughs> and find out one. It's probably the fifth time. That's what that's what Philippe Costas is, is saying. We are apparently being linked once again with Kosic. Philippe Kosic, Juventus' midfielder, slash left back, slash left winger. Apparently, according to Tuto Sport, um us and Crystal Palace are keen on signing the wing back um in the summer. Uh, apparently Juventus are looking could sell him for around 10 million euros with us both keen, both London clubs keen, looking for left hand left sided players. Yes, we need a left sided player. Yes, we need someone a little bit more attack minded as well. Kosic is uh someone who can do both. But he's thirty-one, and we're all and and we are at an age where we're looking to bring in younger players. And that being said, you know, and and, and hear me out. Brighton, we go back to the Brighton model. Yes, Brighton go and buy, you know, uh, like Carlos Babala from, from Liga to replace, you know, um, Casado who they, who they sold and and stuff like that. They still went and got James Milner on a free transfer. They've got Adam Lalana. They've got him on a free transfer. And so they still, you know, you, you, as well as buying these players, you need an experience. Now, Kostic is a, he's still a good player. Still a good player. At 31, still a good player. I think if you can knock that, what's 10 million quid? Eight, or 10 million euro, but 8 million quid, maybe 7.5 million quid. For a season, maybe two, he's a very fit player. As a... Squad person, I wouldn't say he's a starter. You'd want someone like Jota Silva, for example, to be a starter. Would he be the worst thing in the world? I don't know. I don't know. It, if we could knock it down to, I think, five million quid, don't seem a bad, bad deal. Maybe even cheaper than that. Um, I mean, the reason why Juventus is probably getting rid of him. I mean, now uh, Alagleri, the, the, the manager, he's leaving. And so some other stars are going to be suiting him, uh, following him. One of them could be Kosick. And he uh, fancies like his last, it would be his last move, last proper move. One crack at the Premier League, which is a league he hasn't looked at yet. Um, you know, he can play, you know, he's, he's a good squad player. But, you know, how many more times could we be linked with this man? Seriously, it's crazy. But I just thought it was quite funny just to add to the... Uh, Manicness that has been this week in terms of players and managers and amicable separations and that type of stuff to be once again linked with Philippe Kosic. Warms the cockles of your heart. And that's it, my friends. So take care, stay safe, stay warm, stay humble. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And uh, I'm off to the rugby. I'm off to see uh, the Navy versus the Army match. Looking forward to that. We flow. Um, take care, stay safe, stay warm, stay humble, keep the faith. Much love. Lions!